So the Power Beats Pro from Beats and Apple have been out for just over a week now. And if you search YouTube for reviews on these headphones, you're gonna find plenty. Uh, what you won't find are a lot of reviews on these headphones from a runner's perspective or from an athlete's perspective. I'm a runner, I've been looking forward to these headphones coming out. I came from AirPods and I gotta say, I really like these headphones. So let's talk about them. So before we talk about the headphones, I wanted to give you a little bit of a history on how I got into running. I got into running in October of 2017 after I got the new Series 3 Apple Watch with cellular built in and I got some new AirPods too. I wanted to go outside, leave my iPhone at home and see how well this worked as far as tracking, uh, the connection to the network, if I could actually use the, the watch to make a phone call while I was away from my phone. But I decided instead of going for a walk that I would actually go for a run and I went on a 1.84 mile run. That run was probably the longest time it ever took me to do 1.84 miles. Uh, now I run every day and I'm much faster than that. Fast forward to where we're at now, uh, I try to run at least three miles a day. And so far I'm doing pretty good. I've kept the weight off. I lost uh, about 75 pounds um, since I started running in uh, 2017. And the whole time I've been using AirPods. And overall, AirPods work great. Um, they work as they're intended to work. They still work, the original pair that I have now. The problem is sweat ingress. Uh, with the AirPods, Apple tests AirPods with sweat ingress, like they have uh, pictures on their website or wherever I've, I've seen these pictures where they have AirPods in like a little vial of synthetic sweat um, to test them out to see if they hold up and they do hold up. That's good and all, but the problem is once sweat gets inside of the AirPods and you put them back in the case, the sweat will slowly leak out of the bottom of the AirPods where the microphone hole is and then get on the charging points and start to corrode. And my AirPods have, they're corroded at the bottom, my original AirPods, but I just have to take a file to the, the, the points where the electrodes touch the bottom of the, the headphones file off the corrosion and they charge. So now we have the Powerbeats Pro. The Powerbeats Pro are IPX4 rated for sweat and water ingress. So you can get like splashes on them and stuff. Basically normal stuff that you would do as a runner or an athlete. Uh, if you're running outside, you know, you might get water on them if it's raining or if you're really sweating heavy, you know, you'll get sweat on the headphones. They're specifically made to guard against that ingress, which is awesome. So as soon as you open the box for the Powerbeats Pro, the first thing you see is this very large case. Um, I'm not gonna deny that it's large. Uh, it's definitely way bigger than an AirPods case, but uh, typically if I'm going out and I wanna take headphones with me and I'm not gonna be running, I'll take my AirPods with me. Uh, they fit in your pocket, they're nice and small, and they sound fine. And for me, they fit in my ears pretty well. But these are built more for a purpose. These are a tool for athletes, I think, and people that are active. Uh, you can buy them just as headphones and they work great, but just keep in mind this case is big. It's not gonna be as discreet in your pocket as an AirPods case would. It looks kind of like a, a growth in your pocket if you wear somewhat tighter pants. Uh, if you wear looser pants, they'll probably be fine. And the case is big for a reason. Obviously, it's got to store the headphones inside of it and the headphones sit in there nice and securely. Magnets hold the headphones in, it's really nice. Um, talking about those uh, charging points, you see these little silver uh, divots in the bottom, that's where they like slide on and charge onto the electrodes. They have these little nubs on the inside of the case and what those nubs are there for is to ensure that the, the headphones are aligned with the charging pins. So they do have magnets that you know keep them inside and help align the headphones to the charging pins. But if you have it in the case and you don't quite get it on the pins, once you close it, those little nubs are gonna make sure that they get pushed down to the proper position. So you don't have to worry about it. The case has to be big enough to hold these things. They wrap around your ears. So obviously this hook is gonna add a lot more size to the case because it has to store the hooks in there too. But like I said, I don't mind it because the case has a battery built in. These have up to 24 hours of battery life. Uh, when you take into account the nine hours of battery life per headphone, and then you can get, I think, three charges out of the case. One thing I don't like about this case is that it does not have Qi charging. Uh, these headphones are $250, which I think is kind of steep since they don't have Qi charging. You can get Qi enabled AirPods for $199, and I really think they're worth it. AirPods are great. So I think these could be a little cheaper uh, if, you know, since they don't have Qi charging, but if they had the Qi charging, I would say 250 is a great price for these headphones. Also in the case, you get a lightning cable that's black. And I believe the only other place you can get a black lightning cable specifically from Apple 
is if you buy an iMac Pro. This does have a lightning charging port. Uh, it's not USB-C, which I'm kind of disappointed by, although I don't have that many USB-C devices. It'd be nice to be kind of future-proof and ahead of the curve. Okay, so as far as the headphones go, um, I think the build quality on these is very nice. It's got this nice soft rubber texture on the hook that feels good on your ears. It doesn't really irritate my ears. I've got about 35 miles on these headphones. I've been using them all week and uh, they feel great. Uh, they do come with custom tips. Uh, like I said, these are made to specifically for uh, people that are active and that want headphones that are not gonna fall off of their head. And so having these different size tips are nice. They come with, um, I think four different sizes of tips. There's one pair of tips that are like deeper and they're kind of shaped differently. But uh, for me, uh, I use a bigger tip on my left ear than I do on my right ear, which I didn't know I had to do that. Uh, and for me, it came down to the noise isolation. Noise comes in more on this side than it does on this side. So I had to get a bigger plug for my ear hole. This sounds really weird and it feels more balanced inside my head. So yeah, you might have to play with the ear tips a little bit to get the right fit, but once you do, uh, they feel pretty good inside your ear. So pairing these headphones to your iOS device is the same as AirPods. They have the H1 chip, uh, which is the next generation chip from Apple's W1 chip that they had in their uh, previous generation AirPods and Beats headphones. So if you're familiar with that process, it's super simple. You open the lid, you get a little pop-up on your device that says connect, you hit connect and they're connected. And uh, just like the AirPods, they, you know, they spread that information to all of your Apple devices. So if you ever want to connect to those headphones from a different device, you just go to your Bluetooth settings or wherever um, and, you know, hit connect and they're good to go. So the controls for the Powerbeats Pro are significantly different than the AirPods. The AirPods have no buttons on them and they have accelerometers inside that you basically tap on an AirPod and it does different things. You can set it um, to pause uh, your music or whatever you're playing. You can uh, set it to fast forward a track or go back a track or to trigger Siri. The Powerbeats Pro don't have that. They have physical buttons on them, one of which is a B button that the logo is on. That's a very, very shallow button. It doesn't click a whole lot, uh, but I feel like it needs to be very shallow because if you're doing something and being very active, you don't wanna have to mash down on a button and you know really slam that earphone into your head. That said, I'm not a big fan of the button. I've used them while running and it's difficult to skip a track. So if you, you know, hit it twice, you can go forward a track. That's difficult to do. So from my experience, you're just gonna basically use that button to pause the music by pressing it once or long pressing it to uh, decline a phone call if you get a phone call. The volume rockers, on the other hand, are nice to have. And these controls are on each headphone. So if you're, for some reason, only using one of them, you have the same controls on both headphones. So that's really nice. The volume rockers work great, especially when you're running. You do have to kind of hold the whole headphone and squeeze it. Otherwise, if you just use one finger, it'll kind of tilt forward a little bit but uh, it's nice to have. That said, when I'm running, I'm wearing my Apple Watch, and so it's easy for me to just swipe over one screen and use the digital crown to change the volume while I'm listening to music. So going back to AirPods and tapping them to the trigger Siri, one thing that would happen a lot with my AirPods is it would kind of twist forward as I was running and they would get wet, and so I'd have to adjust the AirPod. And when I would do that, it would trigger Siri, which was really annoying because you can't say cancel when you trigger Siri, um, because Siri will just come back and say, there's nothing to cancel, which is super annoying. It's like, go away. I wish I could just say, go away, stop doing what you're doing and play my music. This is something you don't get on the power beats. The buttons are nice to have because it's not gonna accidentally trigger anything unless you smash in on a button. So that's really nice to have. The power beats pro have ear hooks that are adjustable. Like they have metal in here that is bendable. So you can, uh, you know, bend them or do whatever you gotta do to make them fit right on your ear. Out of the box, they fit pretty well, but you might wanna tweak them a little bit so they stay more secure, and that's what I've had to do. So it's taken a lot of trial and error to get the right fit so they don't twist down or move a whole lot once I actually get sweaty and they get that little bit of lubrication to kind of move around inside your ear. Outside of that though, they're pretty secure. They were far more secure than the AirPods were while I was running and I really like how they feel in my ears. Another common complaint I've seen on YouTube uh, from people that have reviewed these headphones are how difficult they are to put on. And if you've never put on headphones like this before, it's really confusing because you're like, do I put it in my ear and then put the hook on? And you're kind of using two hands and 
you know, if, if someone says something to you while you're running, you know, it's nice to be able to just take a headphone out and listen to them because the music does automatically stop just like AirPods. But then it's like, well, how do I get it back in without, you know, stopping and having to use two hands and stuff? And I've pretty much figured it out and it's kind of clever how they design these. So you've got the hook on here that's got this nice curved edge on it. And you just basically, you rest it on your ear like this, put it in your ear hole and you twist and that's it. Again, put it on your ear, in your hole, twist, done, it's in your ear. Speaking of putting on the Powerbeats Pro, uh, as you can see, I wear glasses. And at first putting these on with glasses was a real pain because you know the glasses do kind of push the hooks out a little bit. They, my glasses actually push my ears out a little bit. And so putting these on with glasses, especially glasses with you know thicker frames like I have right here, can be a bit of a pain. If you wear wireframe glasses that have ear hooks that you know, are really thin and kind of out of the way, these are gonna be a breeze to put on. Uh, but if you have glasses like mine, it might be a little difficult. It'll take a little bit of getting used to to learn how to actually put them on. That said, I tried a couple different ways of using my glasses while running. Typically, I wear sunglasses when I run. And when I was wearing my AirPods, wearing glasses was never a problem because they don't touch my ears. They just hang out of my ears. But with these, they have the hooks that go over your ears. So you have to think about that. And there's two things you can do. You can put the, the, the headphones on and have them sit on top of the frame. So it's gonna push your ears out a little bit more, which kind of feels weird at first, but you do get used to it. Or you can put the glasses on top of the hooks of the headphones and that works okay. But once you start running and if you're listening to like quiet music or a podcast or something, your glasses will kind of rattle on the ear hooks and that'll go straight into your ears and it's really annoying. So my recommendation is to, you know, get glasses that have wire frames or if you have glasses like mine, just put them underneath the hooks. So the hooks are on the outside of the glasses and you'll get used to the way they feel and they feel fine or just don't wear glasses at all. So just to kind of wrap everything up, I wanted to give you some general thoughts on uh, what I think about these headphones overall. Uh, as a runner, um, I was looking forward to these headphones coming out. I love the headphones. Uh, I'm still getting used to the way they fit and I'm still kind of tweaking the ear hooks and making everything perfect. But I think for runners and uh, athletes overall, they're gonna be great, especially if you're into like high intensity interval training or something like that, where you're constantly moving around and you know maybe airpods would fall out these are definitely not going to fall out they sound great i think they sound better than airpods uh, they, they have a more crisp sound they don't have that traditional uh low end uh favoritism that beats tends to go for the sound is very balanced overall and like i said uh, the first thing that came to mind was crisp these things sound crisp like cymbals sound really good uh, if you're listening to hip hop, you know, you're gonna get a nice, uh, a nice overall EQ with the low end and those little hi-hat hits and stuff like that. So they sound fantastic. Also, again, I wish they weren't $250, especially since they don't come with uh, Qi charging built in. If they did come with Qi charging built in, I would say that price is fair because the AirPods are $199 with Qi charging and these are you know, made for a different group of people and they are, I think, better headphones than AirPods. So for 50 bucks more and with Qi charging, that would be a great price. The H1 chip is a nice step up from the W1 chip. Uh, one thing with AirPods that I never liked, the first generation AirPods, uh, is how long it took to connect to other devices. And this is very first world problems kind of thing, but it would take usually 10 to 12 seconds to connect to a different device. So if I was on my iPhone and then wanted to listen on my iPad, it took about 10 to 12 seconds. And now with the H1 chip, it takes three to five seconds. So it's almost seamless. It's really, really nice. So I like that a lot. And this has to be said, there are definitely cheaper options out there for runners, especially if you want the same style headphones. Uh, you might have a wire in between the two headphones. And if you're okay with that, that's fine. I got into running two years ago. I never ran with headphones that had a wire. So I'm kind of spoiled and I don't know if I could. Uh, I know for a fact that I don't like the wire that's on the back because it's dangling and hitting my neck, even though you can cinch it up to you know, keep it from hitting your neck as you run. I just like having truly wireless headphones on as I run. So again, the Powerbeats Pro for me are right up my alley. Like they were specifically designed for exactly what I wanted and they're awesome. Something else I've thought about is if Apple came out with like a sport version of AirPods, I might be compelled to buy those too because I do like the smaller form factor of AirPods. I just don't like how sweat does get in there and it does affect the way they charge because they do corrode at the bottom of the, the headphones. So 
Uh, but overall, I love the Powerbeats Pro. I recommend them if you are looking for truly wireless headphones. They are fantastic. They feel great. They sound great. And I think you're gonna be really happy with them. So thanks for watching this video.